Alrighty, Homebrew Wednesday, episode number three. Uh, welcome everybody, cheers for tuning in. Um, let's do a quick update on where the hops are growing at the moment. Uh, today's a little bit overcast, so it's not as sunny, but the hops are going nuts. They're getting quite big. We even got one line that's coming all the way over here. They're shooting out all over the place. Wow. I've even got at the end of the old vine, they're starting to take off there as well. Now the size of these leaves. I am going to dry hop just with one packet. That's about ooh, 25 ounces. Might have been back in college actually. Um, of my hops from last year that have been uh, vacuum packed and frozen. I just want to do a little bit of dry hopping for the brown warrior that has been sitting in secondary for a while. So I just relieve its pressure. Oh, I smell good. So these are my hops. Hops that I grew last season. So there they are in there. Oh, look at that. Let's get rid of any nasty oxygen that we chucked in there. I've also got all the parts for my counter flow. Um, I've got my 20mm tube which the water is going to run through and inside the 20mm tube I've got this 12mm copper soft pipe which the beer is going to flow through and plus all the brass fittings that I need to put it all together. So this will be this weekend's job. Also I've got some 1mm wire. Now with this 1mm wire I'm going to wrap it around and weld it in a spiral around the copper tube so that it creates a bit of a vortex for the water passing over it and it slows the water down. Now hopefully this tube's going to fit in here as a tight fit at the moment but I should be able to get it in there with a little bit of nudging and then I'm going to weld it in the end and make a nice sealed end to it. Now hopefully by the time I've finished all the bits should go together like this but of course it'll have a uh, massive great big coil in the center of it. So I'm going to start that uh, this weekend hopefully. Also had a challenge this week to make a PID controller for a uh, HLT and I tried to make it in a nice tidy little box um, so that it was didn't take up much room. So it was fun to try and fit everything into this box. Uh, there's a couple of switches on the side with a 10 amp fuse, 25 amp solid state relay, switch at the front to turn on and off the um, power to the element and uh, put it together, tested it and everything seems to be working fine. So that's a good build. Also, this is a uh, sneak peek of something I've been working on for the past three months. It's a bin for brewers. Now, I wanted to come up with a product that would help uh, home brewers that are extract brewers move to all grain brewing. So, I've designed something that has four uses it's a rims based uh, mash tun, and also a bottle washer, a wort chiller, and a jockey box. So, I'm hoping that I can put all these things together at a relatively good price. Um, I'm still playing with the idea at the moment to prototype up one and see how well it's going to work. But so far, it's uh, looking pretty good and it might be quite a nice little product that we can get out on the marketplace. Um, I'll be interested in people's feedback just to see what they think of the initial design. Cheers. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I sold another t shirt this week um, to Dave over in Canada again, so that's cool. We've made a bit more money. Um, let's keep that money coming in. Um, I saw something really interesting. There's another Homebrew Wednesday brewer in New Zealand, um, Octomod, and he's got a really cool video about reusing yeast. So I'll put the link on so that you can have a look and um, check it out. It's awesome. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next Wednesday.